When we're dealing with complex fractions, it's often easier to work with much, much more simplified expressions. And we can basically simplify a fraction, any fraction, into times on top, divide on bottom. There's only two parts to a fraction, a numerator and a denominator. So when we look at a, fra a complex fraction like this, or embedded fraction, we can just ask ourselves, are the factors that are involved times or divide? So looking at this fraction here, if I look at the start with the factor A, I just have to decide, is A a multiplying factor or a dividing factor? When I look at this, it's right on the top, so it must be a multiplication factor. When I look at B, it's divide by B, so that must be a divide factor. And if I look at C, I can see that that's a long divide, so that's the main divisor. So that's only being divided once, so we can put the C on the bottom as a factor like that. So this is our simplified version of this. We can just take the two divide parts and put them in the bottom. We can check this with some other strategies, and we can check this by dividing fractions. So we can do A divided by B divided by C. When I divide by a fraction, I can multiply by its reciprocal, and then I can see very clearly that that C ends up in the denominator. Now that is a long way of doing the same thing. So we want to start to develop some fluency in how we can go from here to here, to go from the more complex form to the simplified form. So we'll do the same thing here. We take a look at each factor. Make sure you're clear on which is the main divisor. So that big divide line is the main divisor. So that means times A. So A goes on top. That's a divisor. So we divide by B. So B goes on bottom. Now that C is a, under two divisors, the main divisor and the smaller divisor. So that's a divide, divide. Well, we know that divide, divide really means multiplication. So that should end up on the top of that ratio. And again, we can just check by using some longer strategy. A divided by the fraction B over C. We can change that into A times the reciprocal C over B. And we can see that the, yeah, the C is times on top. The B is the divide on the bottom, which is the same as what we got here. For one, this one here, there is a simple, simple, there is a quick simplification for this, and it looks like this. We can just cancel. If we, we have our main divisor here. We have a divide by C in the top, divide by C in the bottom. We can actually just get rid of those divide by Cs and end up with A over B. Okay. So this is a good one to know, but we, let's just make sure that it follows all our rules. So looking at the A on the top, we know that's a multiply by A. We can look at the C on the bottom. That's a divide by C. Here we have divide by B. And that's going to be divide, divide, or times by C. And we can see that the C's cancel out, and we're left with A over B. And so we can always check this by dividing fractions. convert that into multiplication, C's cancel out, and we're left with A over 